Hey y'all, this is Chris from Toronto and you're watching Trucker Josh Vlogs on YouTube. Good morning, everybody. We're here in Karen Port, Saskatchewan, right where we went to bed. Oh man, I've been having like an allergy fit. Ugh. I don't know what it is. Every now and then, usually it's in the spring when I have this, but I feel another sneeze coming. Whew, let's just open the windows, get some fresh air. Let's get on the road. That'll make me feel better. So I've done my pre trip here. Turn right on. Carriage drive and then turn left into 110 meters. And we are on the road. We are on the way. So I've never stayed at this truck stop here at Karenport. It's right next to Briarcat Briarcrest Bible College. It's a little gravel parking lot and a store that closes at night. So it's not a place I would stop at regularly in the winter because in the winter time I like to have a, a 24 hour truck stop where I can go into if my truck suddenly decides to stop running at night when it's minus 30. So it's probably why I haven't really noticed it here before but Karen filled me in that it was here. Thanks Karen. This GPS does everything. It's amazing. Turn left on Trans Canada Highway, Highway 1. Absolutely, absolutely. Good call, Karen. Dude, I want to go home too. Let's turn on to Trans Canada. This will take us home. We're uh, just under 700 kilometers from home, or about 400 and some miles, 450 miles or so. Good to be home. And we now get to test out our new roof. Getting somewhat of a good rainfall. The, the camera's not really picking it up, but the rain's coming down on a decent, decent amount here. And we got our downspouts laid out. You can fold these up. You can see there. Water's flowing out real good. So we got four downspouts on the front. 
They all seem to be working pretty good. This is the first test that I've seen. And this is so much better than the rain just falling off the house right in front, like wherever it goes. At least we can control it a little bit. Because here you can see like where it used to fall down. There used to never be any gutters, eh? So there's like this almost trench in front of the house. On this side here, I got this coming down here. Working really good. Let's go check the back. So excited to test this out. <laughs> this one doesn't come down as hard. Like you can see it in here. Not too much. The gutter wasn't quite level. On, on the back here, there's only one downspout here and one on the other side. And the other side seems to carry a lot more water. So I guess it's uh, not quite evenly balanced, but it's okay. This side here, this side you can see is just giving her, right? Comes out to there, and then this one here, that sticks way out into the middle of the yard. That comes up from our screen room there. It's kind of inconvenient, yeah, but it's the only way they could really do it because of our gas pipes right there. Comes down and into the backyard there. But this is detachable right here. You can take that off of there and then put it away for when it's not raining or when we don't need it there, when we need to mow the lawn. At least it gets the water away from the house. Oh, we need to take the barbecue back inside here. Oh, we better do that right now. And the downspot on the front on this side. Just giving her there too. So. We're really happy with it. Really happy. Let's get this barbecue inside of here. There we go. Only got a little bit wet. But how's this for a fashion statement, eh? Camo jacket, jeans. Reindeer slippers. <laughs> you only wish you were as cool as me right now. So this trip was good. I know we sort of cut from the fuel islands there in Balgoni to home here. You know me, when I'm on a when I'm on a route home, I have a one track mind. Just a beeline straight here. It's starting to get cold out though. Those of you guys who live up here, doesn't it feel a little colder than usual? August has been very rainy and cold, which is different because usually August is very hot and dry. Now it's September already, and now September sort of feels like October. It's getting colder faster. I was pretty sure I was told that the climate is supposed to be warming up. Something about some kind of global warming thing. Still waiting, still waiting. They say one day my property is going to be the tropics. I think that'll raise my property value quite a bit. If you think about it, if everything south of here turns into this desert that they say it's going to, a lot of people are going to want to be living around here. The property values are going to skyrocket for me. Just got to wait for the right time and just pounce on it, right? I mean, that's if it was true. You know, if the oceans were really rising by, what, 100 meters or 100 feet? Is that what they're saying? They're going to rise by something like 100 feet or something in the next century. If that was really true, there would be no way that you could get property insurance for oceanfront property. There would be no way that these big shots would be buying oceanfront property. Because it's all going to be underwater in a few decades. So who would buy a house that's going to flood right away? They know it's, it's not going to. So today, or this year, is just a little colder than usual. That's okay. It's a little more rainy than usual too, which is kind of nice because we actually get a, a a nice green lawn. Like last year at this time, I didn't have to mow the lawn after like mid-August. Mid-August, that was it. It just didn't grow because there was no water. This year, it's just, look at this. Rain, 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 rain. Well, that's fine. So, while I'm at home now, uh, we're having a little family get-together tomorrow, or on, on Saturday. Uh, I probably won't be filming that or, or whatnot. I'm just going to enjoy the weekend. It's nice to just enjoy 
everyone's company. I think there's like 30 to 40 people coming. Then uh, Sunday, we're sort of relaxing, recovering. And uh, Monday, I go to buy new drive tires on my truck. Which should cost a couple thousand dollars, so I'm not looking forward to that part of it. But I am looking forward to getting new rubber on the truck. Uh, I am going to be going with retreads. I'm not a fan of retreads. I can, I hear you guys. I hear you in the comment section. I agree with you. You know, I was joking around with my buddy Moses online saying, yeah, living life on the edge. Buying retreads. Retreads, the retread technology has come a long way in the last few decades. I'll just say that in my defense, come a long way. But it's a lot cheaper. So, you know, for under $3,000, I can get all my drives replaced for now. Uh, it's just because I just spent $20,000 into this roof. Uh, got other expenses. Just trying to save a few pennies right now. And we'll see if I end up shooting myself in the foot with that attempt at saving some pennies. Um, I might regret it. We'll see. But hey, you can watch me and see what my luck is with retreads. And if I have terrible luck with them, then you know to stay far away from them. And if they work well for me, hey, maybe it's true that they've improved them. So I remember back, like even when I was a kid, back when my dad was younger driving truck, you'd always see these retreads. They'd, they'd fly off the tire and be laying all over the road. You don't see that anymore. Not as much, right? Am I right? And maybe it's just me. I don't know. I don't notice it. But we'll see what happens. I'm, I'm going to give it a shot. I'll be your guinea pig, okay? You you want to know what retreads do and how long they last. You just keep watching my videos. You subscribe to my YouTube channel, and you can watch and see how long they last. I'm going to keep track of it. And just for the record, my truck has 1,030,000 kilometers on it right now. That's about 625,000 miles, somewhere in there. We'll see how long they last. What I would like them to last, I'd like them to last... Over 1.3 million. If I can get it to 1.4 million, that's 400,000 kilometers. That's uh, 200, 300, 200, 250,000 miles. Between 200 and 300,000 miles, if I can get them to last that long, I'll be very impressed with these retreads of them. Uh, that's how long I would expect a good uh, virgin tire. A tire that's like brand new to last. But you know, if you're keen on the environment, one good thing about retreads is it is sort of like recycling, it uses less materials, less resources, and it sort of reuses the, the tire. So uh, it's, it's better for the environment in that way. That's not why I did it, but if you like the environment, hey, a little extra perk for you there. Mm-hmm. So have I shown you guys uh, Brit's new hanging swing yet? Her dad bought her this for her birthday this year. I don't think I've shown you yet. Let's go sit on it. Let's go make her jealous. She's inside watching her show right now. I'm working on my vlogs. I gotta finish today's yet. It's all the way at the end over here. She's in there. Right there. You see her? Oh, her show's over. I'm gonna go sit on your bench. I'm gonna go sit on your bench. She can't hear me. We're gonna go sit on her bench. She'll probably be out here right away. <laughs> yeah, so this is what her dad bought her this year. It's like a hanging swing. Pretty neat, eh? It's getting a little chilly to sit out here in the mornings now, but uh, in summertime in the mornings, oh, we come and sit out here first thing in the morning and have our coffee. I really like it. I probably like it just as much as she does. Coming. I thought for sure she'd come. Nope. I guess I'm sitting out here by myself all alone. All by my lonesome. Too cold for her out here right now. <laughs> but anyways, if you're still watching, thanks for listening to me ramble. It's time to enjoy the weekend now. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We make a new video every day. Mostly every day. I skip some days and I don't always make videos. I usually don't film on or do a lot of work on Sundays, but uh, we make a lot of videos. We make a lot and we'd love to have you as a part of the crew here. We're trying to get the channel up to 100,000, but uh, it's up to you. I'll leave that in your capable hands. The subscribe button is on my page on the YouTube page. If you found me on BitChute, 
Uh, you can subscribe to me there if you want. They're just mirrored off YouTube. My my YouTube channel is where I post primarily. Uh, it's called Trucker Josh Vlogs. Go to Google, just type in Trucker Josh, and all my stuff will pop up there. Sort of my corner of the internet. Just type in Trucker, and I'll pop up. <laughs> or Trucking. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. I told you she was going to come. All I got to do is go sit on her bench, on her swing, and she's coming. My wifey senses were, were tingling. <laughs> just telling them. I wonder how long it'll take. Who do you got there? Nothing. I'm just holding this close because the zipper's broken. Oh, <laughs> I thought you had one of the pups. No. None of our dogs are this small. Not even Frank. <laughs> <laughs>